Hello people out on your internet devices. Here I have a brand new machine micro and I already did a support script for it so you can use it with Bitwig as well. In the latest update of the machine software there is now also the support for a MIDI mode and with that MIDI mode we have to deal. You need to enter MIDI mode to use the Bitwig extension. To do that you need to press the shift key and the key on the upper left which is called the project key I think and then you get a much more shining machine device. Limitations first currently there is no way to use the cursor keys and there is no way to use the shift key because they send no MIDI data at all. Also there's no way to set the LEDs of that strip so they're always in that position that you move it to. Another limitation is since there are only drivers available for Windows and for Macintosh, sorry Linux guys, no support for you. Okay, so there are different areas on the machine device. There is a transport area, there is a modulation area, there are different modes for controlling parts of your software and in the main focus there are the pads. So here I have 16 big nice pads and for that we also have different modes implemented here to use those pads. So starting out of the transport so play as usual gives you the transport playback you can press again to stop it and you can also double press it to move your play cursor to the start you can start recording in the arranger and erase is the under key here we have a toggling of our loop and we can also enable the metronome and if you prefer to have a stop key you can also press the stop to stopping the playback also pressing it again makes it return to the start of your project if you have some midi data like i have here let's move that a little bit off the grid let's do it here like this you can then press the one the grid key to move it to your quantization grid and as i said shift key is totally dead so you can only use one function with these buttons so let's now move to the top you have here different modes for controlling your tracks or your plugins and starting out with the volume mode this one changes the volume of the currently selected track we have a third one selected now you might wonder how you can select a track and you can do that here with the pads so if you go on select you can select the different tracks select the first second third so you can select 16 tracks and if you you have more than one you can change the bank as well with the buttons up here so these do not what they say these buttons are to modifying what happens on the grid mainly for going up or down either octaves or here in that case different banks so with both of them you can select the banks up and down of your tracks then you can also select more than 16 tracks same is here in a solo and mood modes also with that knobs here in the solo mood modes you can go up and down in the track banks solo does the same so you can do solo here the first second track you get the idea and same is for the mute so we also explained already these three modes so let's go to the second track for example and also here we can change the volume if you have selected a track and if you want to reset to its default value you can simply press it so and the volume is not only volume you can also press it again to change the panorama so let's bring up here the information so you can see the pan moving as well also again here pressing it resets it to its default center value going on you can also access eight send we have here once and one is a delay so you can also here enable the delay and also pressing it resets it to zero next mode here is changing the play position if you enable that you can then move the play cursor pressing the encoder knob changing it to a slow mode so you can then move it in slower steps clicking it again you can then go back to moving it much faster next one is a tempo mode so here you can change the tempo going up here make it faster your song make your song slower and if you click here it's not changing to slower instead it's for tapping your tempo if you press it but multiple times then we have the plug-in mode and in plug-in mode you can change the parameters of your selected plug-in maybe let's go back here to the the first track where it's easier to see okay we are in plug-in mode and here in plug-in mode I can now 
change the first parameter and changing parameters. You select the variation mode to change your parameters. And here you will also see if you select one, what is the name of your parameter that you selected and you control. And for example, let's select the second one. And then you can also change that one and pressing it also here again, resets it to its default value. You can also again, use the knobs up here to move to the other banks of your parameters. For example, like here, you see also then the name of this next page in your device setup. And these buttons are identical. So you can use either use these two or these two, they do the same function. Functionality. So this was a plug-in mode uh, going to the next one. So there is currently no sampling, which we can start anyway. So I use that button to toggle your device window. So if you have a device with which has a window, for example, let's go here to the Zebra one. Let's go to that one. And so you can show up your VST window, or if you have a Bitwig window, which also has a pop out window, you can do that too with that. So these were the modes up here. We had the transport as well. So let's now go here. We have some automation functions. So the group one creates a new clip, starts playback, and you're ready to record and play some notes in it if we would also enable it for recording so then you can also play some notes in it in a fixed length so next one stop playing again next one toggles your automation writing for the clip and the next one toggles automation writing for the arranger and since i'm still waiting for a not repeat mode i just left that empty and fingers crossed we will hopefully get that in the not too far future moving up here we have here several control modes for performance so this is intended to modify your playing so if we have some sound you can then move the pitch down. The next mode moves the pitch up. And then there is also the combined as a normal pitch band behaves. So the center is a normal note pitch and you can pitch it down or you can pitch it up. But the problem with the mode is you don't see where the exact middle is. So it's like playing a violin in a way. Next one is for modulation. So modulation sends a CC1. So the normal modulation one. In that patch, we move the filter down. And the next one is the expression one. So CC11. I think there is nothing mapped to that one, but anyway, it's it sends CC11. And the last one is different because we so far have no access to the master volume. So on that one, I put the master volume. And also with that one, you need to be a little bit careful because you don't see where the current value is. Putting it somewhere here, then you can also change your master volume of the whole project. So much for that area. So now let's have a look on the right where the pads are. I already showed you some modes. So the three ones deal with tracks, soloing tracks, muting tracks and selecting the track. And beginning here on the top, there is a scene mode. So if you have scenes, you can now start up to 16 scenes and also move through that scene banks again with that buttons up there. So here we start the first scene second scene and so on. Pattern one is the same for clips. So always for the selected track. So this one starts the first clip on the selected track. That one starts the second clip on the selected track. And the next mode event is for playing. So you play the pads here. And here the behavior is different with the knob. So here you can go up in octaves. And with that one, you change between the scales. And you can also press the events button again. Then you change to drum mode. So this one maps then to the drums. So this is now the, the layout. We also need to change here the recording. So then you have the layout for your drums. And also with the drums, you can go up and down to select more drums and they behave both the same. So you can either use these or these. Okay, you get the idea. Pressing again, back to play mode and here to jump toggle between these two. 
Yeah, by the way, sadly, also no sequences here in the script because I cannot modify in any way those LED lights. So they're always on and I always have the same color. Sorry for that as well. Okay, so then we are having variation. I already talked about that. In that mode, you select the parameters, you select the parameter banks. And with these tools, you can also move between the different devices. So selecting the next device and selecting the previous device on your currently selected channel. So then there's only one button missing, the duplicate one. This allows you to duplicate different things like scenes, clips or tracks. And this depends on which mode is active. For example, if you go to scene, enable duplicate and then click on the first scene. The first scene is duplicated, but you also need to be aware the second one is then overwritten and the duplicated key automatically turns off after that. Same is for pattern. So if you are in pattern and say, I want to duplicate the second clip and then it's also duplicated and the same is for the track so we select track number one turn on the duplicate key and say okay i want to duplicate track number one so we have two of them pressing undo again brings us back to the previous view. Okay, so then only the browser is missing. This is done by these three keys and also the normal encoder is part of that. The first one is not really related to the browser. It adds a new empty instrument track. That's also pretty handy. And the next one opens a browser to add a device. Let's do that as well. So we get the browser and now with that knob you can move through your results here and for example let's pick here a massive and you can close here with the sampling the window and that's basically it if you want to change that you can press that one instead then a new one so you get now the browser to the currently selected device we have currently no way since we have some limited knobs here a way to also move to the filter ones except you can change the first filter from everything to favorites or back again by using the star. So pressing the star changes between everything and favorites and then you can also scroll down and use something else for example select the base and as you saw I clicked it to confirm it. You can also Let's close that down, get here again. You can also confirm it by pressing the browser window again. And if you want to discard your selection, you can press that knob again. So again, let me repeat that one. The top one discards your selection. That one confirms your selection. And here you can toggle the first filter row, which is a favorite one. I think I covered all the things you can do with that script. Pretty nice, powerful device, which I think fits nicely in your backpack. Shame that we can currently do nothing with the shift and the cursor keys and also we can address here the display but that's how it is and besides that make some funky music